Okay, I don't have anything else in this next question but this. <laughs> How do you handle mean girls? I don't know what that means. I don't have a definition. I know what it means. I okay, get you. so I, I, I figured you ladies might know. My so. whole life yes. growing up, mean girls. They're not going away. Nope. You're like, they're not going away. They're here to stay. Mm -hmm. They're here to stay. Um, the verse that comes to my mind, okay, so we're looking at mean girls. Uh, well, first of all, do not respond to a mean girl how they treat you. Right. That's Absolutely right. Mm -hmm. do not go down to their level. They call you a name. Don't call them a name back, right? Because then, especially mm -hmm. little kids, they do this. They called me a name, so I called them a name. Then they called me another name, and I called them a worse name. And it's like hair, this, and I pulled their hair. Yeah, it's like this one-upping, right? <laughs> yes. Don't do that. And I would like to assume these mean girls are not Christian, but that's not necessarily the case, right? If a mean girl is, a, is another believer, then you need to treat her like another believer and say, you know what, you say you're a believer and this is what God says and call them out, yeah. right? Call them out in love, okay, which may take some time uh, because you need to get your heart in the right place, right? So call them out in love. Um, if it's not a Christian, then yeah, they're mean, <laughs> right? But you don't get to go down to their level. You have to continue to love them. Look at how Jesus treated the Pharisees, Yes. right? Look at how tr Jesus treated the Pharisees. He was... He was kind of just kind of in their face in love and in truth. Mm -hmm. And you have an opportunity. I don't know if I have a non-Christian mm -hmm. showing me that face of meanness. You are showing me you don't love the Lord. And so I may be the only one in your life that does love the Lord. And so I'm going to take that and take this situation to the Lord and pray over it and ask for God to give me opportunities to witness. And your witness may just be that you are so nice to mm -hmm. that mean girl. Um, another thing that comes to mind especially dealing with mean girls. I got picked on relentlessly mm -hmm. in junior high and high school, like horrifically, right? Um, and I wasn't a believer, but I'm a believer now and I know my identity in Christ. So when someone calls me a name or makes fun of me, girls are so good at making fun of how we look, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, none of us girls look the same. We're all different. We're not going to look like a certain type of girl that's on the magazine cover. We're not. Praise God. Right? And we need to stop trying to look like that girl on the magazine cover because it's a lie. Yes. Okay? Um, so girls tend to p pick on us for how we look. But I now know my identity in Christ. I know that I'm beautifully and wonderfully made. So if you have a girl picking on you or being mean to you, you need to get those verses in your mind, memorize them, and stay close to the Word of God where you can take those verses and repeat them in your head as truth. I'm beautifully mm -hmm. and wonderfully made. Right? The Lord has a purpose for me. Not only that, but I'm covered by the blood of God. I have value, mm -hmm. and it is in the, the shed blood of Jesus. Right? So whatever those mean girls say to you, you yeah. can just slough Sleep. it off. And look at it for what it really is in the fact that it's someone who they're not happy for some reason, mm -hmm. right? They're not honoring the Lord. They're not seeing the blessings and the joy that come from honoring the Lord. And you have an opportunity, as hard as it may seem, to actually be that light to these girls and treat them differently than anyone else, else, else treats them. That might be all that they see yeah. is mean people, right? And so they're just reacting to the meanness that they have been living with, right? So, yeah, you have an opportunity to be a witness. Yeah, and I did that. I wrote, I, my first point was kill her with kindness. Yep. Pray and do good for her because that's what the Bible says, right? Mm -hmm. And that f for enemies and also for friends who are just mean, right? Um, and I really believe that, as, as Dana said, we just need to stand up and just speak truth. Mm -hmm. And so there's nothing wrong with looking someone in the eye and telling them to back off in love. Um, I think I find it especially helpful to um, when I'm dealing with someone like this, to look how they treat other people, mm -hmm. because that usually is an opportunity for me now that, to step in and defend that person, and then and then in essence, quote unquote, teach that person a lesson, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're if the mean girl is your friend, because I've seen that too, then maybe you just need to withdraw for a, a time from that friendship, and then approach it again. So again, you don't you don't withdraw and not do anything about it. It's just withdraw for a time. Get, get your scripture verses in a row, talk to the Lord about it, and then approach your friend um, about her meanness. But bullies usually have been bullied. Again, that's mm -hmm. no excuse to bully in return. Uh, women who make fun of other women are very, very insecure. So how do you help her become secure in, in who she is and who she was created to be? And it's just like Dana said, it, now's an opportunity to witness. Now's mm -hmm. an opportunity to share the Lord with her. And, um, and if you're a mean girl, knock it off. Yes. I'm serious. Knock it off. No it's very hurtful. I was made fun of my whole life. Mm -hmm. I could, uh, from my earliest memory, um, I was this tall. I was six foot one in eighth grade. 
And really? yes, and I wore in in sixth grade. I had to get braces, and I'm talking about I wore them for fo- almost five years. I've had glasses. I was made. I was extremely made fun of in my very very small school. I was a little fish in a big pond and a little pond, and I was the one picked on by both boys and girls. And there's nothing more hurtful than to be made fun of something that you cannot change. Yeah, you have no control right? over it. Yeah, People it's, are jerks. it's right. It's just like with the racism. A person's yeah. born with different skin tone, they can't help that. Mm -hmm. And so how dare us pick on someone for something they have no control over. And it's just a mean-spirited person who does that. So again, Christian, non-Christian, there's kind of maybe different Bible verses you could attach to it. Mm -hmm. But don't answer in kind, but speak truth to her. Be brave. Stand up and just be brave. Yeah. There's very few people who are brave Mm -hmm. anymore. And as Christians, we are called Mm -hmm. to be brave. Yes. Right? Be strong and of good courage. Yes. Right? From Joshua mm-hmm. 1 9. So that's you, Christian. You get to do it. Mm-hmm. And you get to do it. You're not doing it alone. Right. Right? You have the power of the Holy Spirit who gets to come in and feed you the words to say yeah. and give you wisdom on how to handle the situation. Mm-hmm. So as soon as you see, say you're walking in the hall of your high school and here comes Mean Girl, you start yes. praying. Yes. Say, Lord, fill me with your spirit. Give me words to say. Help me to show her mm-hmm. you. Yes. Right? Um, so whoever you're coming in front of, pray. Yeah. Right? Pray for them. Pray for God to do a work. And it's really cool, you guys, because you may not see God mm-hmm. doing a work at first, mm-hmm. but you're going to start to see it. Yeah. Right? He works behind the scenes. He knows how to get to their heart, and he's going to do it. So you don't have to be brave on your own. But, yeah, call out the junk mm-hmm. and call out the evil, yes. right, yes. Uh, with the Holy Spirit um, with you, right? And I have to say that the, all those things that I went through as a child and into my, you know, my teen years— Um, God has used for good right Mm -hmm. now. So um, it has given me a heart for women and a compassion for women. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that sometimes I walk around and I look like I'm scowling and stuff like that, you know, and when I'm working and stuff, I get my mean face. My girls call it my mean face. Um, I'm not really upset about anything. It's just what happens to me. So I know sometimes that can be off-putting, but um, I was actually treated meanly by a pastor's wife too. And it's not fun. Mm -hmm. You know, you... You're, you know, you're, you, especially in church, you're going there to be healed and to learn and to grow. And when those in leadership over you treat you meanly, it's, it's not, that's not a good thing. And God, God holds us accountable for that. So I'm thankful for what God has done. And really, I think it, all of us who have been teased like that or made fun of can mm-hmm. look back and see our friends from high school and praise God, I'm saved. Yeah. There's not very many of them that are. Yeah. They're still p- posting pictures of party, drinking parties. They look like they've been, you know, they look a lot older than I do. <laughs> <laughs> nice way of putting it. Nice way, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you catch that? Okay. They made fun of my looks. No, no I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just teasing. But God, you reap he, what you sow. That's right. Yes. God is faithful, right?